Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome to stage three. I love it. Maybe both. I'm sorry, I'm sick. Video game is considered this year now if you're addicted to it. I feel very sick right now. I need, a, I need another day. Everyone, welcome back. Welcome back. I hope you had a good break. Stage three is upon us. You know, we wanted to give our players an actual break during the the in between of two and three, the halftime of the year. Um, and so we wanted to be able to give them a chance to relax and refocus and regenerate. The job itself is, is pretty stressful, so if we can give them, you know, a break halfway through, I think it's very beneficial. So coming into scrims, coaching staff was kind of, we weren't sure if we would be like rusty because we took an extra week off or if we'd be able to pick it back up. Felt like we picked it back up fairly quickly. Hey, I'm Ashley Powell. I go by the alias Trill in game, and I'm from Broome, Western Australia. I'm a new tank player for Dallas Fuel. So over the past stage, uh, you know, the coaching staff had been talking about various uh, changes or updates we can make to the roster as we go. Um, it's something that we're always talking about, always considering, because we want to uh, keep a specific kind of identity with our roster. And so um, in talking about this, we thought it would be good for us to bring a fresh perspective to the tank role. And so in looking at our options, you know, we have this great main tank in our contenders team who's been performing extremely well. So we were excited to you know, bring him in and, and get another perspective from the tank role. And we're pretty happy to see how he's gonna integrate into the team. What I bring to the Dallas field is definitely my play style with my aggression. I consider myself a fairly aggressive player and uh, my communication and my attitude. Got like a really positive attitude, I'm not a tilter and I think I can really help bring this team up. Uh, during this whole time though, uh, he was you know, finalizing his visa paperwork and everything, so he wasn't actually here. Uh, we basically were working with him remotely while also you know, just trying to focus on going back into the new meta. Today I learned we're gonna play Paris, so... Hey Winston, how's today gonna go? You're gonna be on the side? Going into our first week of practice, it was largely focused on just getting the basics back down. Now, there wasn't any real major meta changes or any, any changes in terms of balance. And so we felt like, you know, we could build off of what we've been working on the past two stages. So, and we felt pretty good, um, you know, trying to uh, get come back from the break and, and do that sort of thing. So going into the matches, we felt pretty good. Where am I? I think, I think you're in the office there. Oh my! This must mean it's game day! That's what it means. Pause champ! Going into the match, uh, I'd say we were, we were definitely feeling confident. We felt like we could, we could definitely perform well. Um, Gladiators right now is, is performing well as a team, so you know we wanted to make sure that uh, you know we have we have a good showing that we can push them on match day. Uh, we were feeling pretty good. Yeah, that's 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 a good one. Okay, okay, great, great. Ah, it's si gros ce bras. On va les meilleurs. Qu'est-ce qu'il y a toi? <laughs> oh. Are we allowed to walk in like that? Yeah. Is this what you've been teaching them? There are secrets to winning. <laughs> and we've just been exposed. First match of stage three. This stage is our stage to show that we are a top team, okay? That means we start off today with a win. So if we're confident, if our communication's good, we are gonna do it, baby, all right? So we're gonna go, we're gonna win on three, all right? One, two, three, win! How about this for your Friday night entertainment, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Overwatch League. It's time for our final game of the night. And this match is gonna be featured in Dallas Full and 
plenty of like plenty of. And the percentage will be Shazier with the train of trouble. Fell. This may push him over the top. Closer had the sound very late in the fight, but it wasn't enough to really keep the durability on OG. He was cut down. And the Gladiators can fight back. And we see the chase in there. No Nosey needs to fight this Reinhardt, but they lost AKM in the process. Zachary now beleaguered upon all sides. Can't do anything about it. And note down the pit. He got hacked, so he couldn't even use his rocket boosts to get back. Listen, deep breath. Mental reset, okay? Right now, our, our comms are all over the place, and we're giving them way too much respect. I like that. A little bit of fancy footwork from the K on the point here. OG just gets splattered as he approaches it. May not even have seen that amplification matrix as it was cast, but it is so powerful with the Soldier 76. Effective use of his talents currently, but he doesn't quite get it. He gets too far away. Sure for another tank mode here. And the Vanguard note has to cop the brunt of the damage, but he can't protect his team for the rest. It is sure for bringing the punishments. And the Gladiators make it look easy on Paris. Coming into halftime, uh, down 0-2, you know, the, the mood was focused. I wouldn't say that we were, you know, tilted or, or like super down on ourselves or lost confidence or anything like that. I think that, you know, we felt like the previous maps were maps that were winnable for us, but we kind of made some mistakes and we just wanted to just get to the next map. Let's go! Push forward now. Dallas had nowhere to go. OG couldn't find a good earth shatter at all because he just had no room to breathe. The gladiators are choking the fuel out. He goes for a charge there, but he's being forced back. He's so low, there's not much more he could do. Shield bash attempt now. Unco in the background. He's done. And the gladiators get there. Yeah, it's okay. Only it's just. Yeah, it's okay. The gladiators want to do is leave the payload at all. And that's the grab that should end it. No D suited AKM down. And Justin Rickett to Zachary. Try as he might. It won't be enough. And in the final seconds, the series is clinched. It is the Los Angeles Gladiators that will be going three and zero. At that point, I think both the staff and the players were kind of frustrated because you know it felt like we were right there on each of the maps. Like we had definitely had the potential to win all of them, um, but we just couldn't quite you know get it all together there for that one. I mean, spirits were uh, kind of all over the place. Like you know, definitely a little disappointed in how we performed. Um, so, you know, I just tried to get everyone like, hey, you know, we're, we're going to deal with these issues. Like, we'll, we'll figure out what, what piece is missing from this right now. Um, but we need to focus on the Washington match first. We should definitely win this match, but we wanted to stay focused because, you know, we did just have kind of a rough series against Gladiators. We wanted to make sure that we took this match as seriously as possible, that even though they were, you know, pretty low in the standings, um, that you know, they're still treated as a serious opponent that we could, you know, win or lose against. Do you, are you in love with Dallas Fuel? Everything. Yeah, I love them. I love every single one of them. Especially Jane. He doesn't know what he's in for. It was kind of a fun thing for that match because it was Trill's first time, um, like, being with the team the full day at the arena. Um, the previous match, he was there for you know just like the second part of the match, just a, a very brief portion, uh, coming right off the plane, you know, super tired. It was fun. We got to bring him on stage, and you know, he kind of get the experience of what the Overwatch League is all about. So the first time me showing up to Overwatch League was kind of overwhelming because I've wanted this for so long and I've been working at it, and just like being backstage and seeing like all the works behind, and I was just like, man, like I'm I've really made it into Overwatch League, and it was like super exciting. So it was good. Shout out obviously to my Australian fans back home and everyone supporting me and obviously the new fans that I've gotten in Dallas Fuel and I hope you keep supporting me and I hopefully I'll do you proud. All right, look, so I know we know this match is Washington, but that mean, doesn't mean that we don't take them seriously, okay? So we go into every match, every map, we make sure we take it seriously, we do our scouting, we do our old track, we do everything like normal, okay? Listen, we're a team, we're a family, and we need to win together as a team, all right? We need to be consistent, we need to listen to each other, we need to keep our communication up, and that's how we're gonna win, all right? So we're gonna go team on three. One, two, three. Team! Fire strike there, eaten up, and all Washington, they are not looking good health-wise. They need to be careful, and they're gonna get run over. But is that the difference, like I was talking about, between the Justice and, like, the Gladiators the other day? Actually, use the sound barrier, they're running straight at you. Things
things are just falling apart for the Justice here towards the end. Oh, no, it's going to be Sleepy coming out of the Transcendence. Giannis appears just in time, of course, to get a uh, solo shadow. Nice. Good job, guys. We went tough, guys. We're crazy. Yep. Got yeah, for the first time in 10 years. Stay cool, stay collected. No subs. No subs. No subs. Sorry. Stay, cal yeah. stay cool, stay calm. No subs. Here first. It looks like Dallas have everything they want. Yep. They, they, they have got to the point that yeah. high ground Zaya basically just can't go wrong for them now. Done that. Oh, Sleepy, sorry. You're gonna get the uh, the sore end of the stick here. And I, I love how, like... Oh, I love, oh, oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! Sansom forced now down, and the Dallas Fuel looks like they've done it. They secured themselves a shot at the draw here. Corey has to step forward on the tracer to try and trigger overtime, and that's all that he can do. That's a great result for Dallas! They only need one more map win in the series to take it. So going into halftime, um, you know, being up 1-0, having drawn that map, we knew that we just had to take this next map. We're really confident in our icon wall, um, so we felt really good going into this map. And winning this map would mean winning the series. Finding Giannis, his shield is low, he's definitely dead there. And again, the Dallas Fuel, they just apply pressure to what they deem to be the weakest part of the Justice. And, well, once again, it was Giannis. Yeah, and I feel, I feel like this is a few times now we've seen him fall in some of these, like, crucial deciding fights. With still, the crowd gets eaten up. The Justice now, they see a glint of hope, and they're gonna run, break next speed out of it. But no, may have shot it down! It's a three-player self-destruct! Sansa realizes that all the teammates that look so starry-eyed just a moment ago are seeing stars instead. And the Dallas Fuel, with a win on this map, they will claim the series. There is not a thing the Justice can do about it. No, big boy with big bombs. All right, now listen, all right? Even though we've already won this match, we still need to take this fourth map super seriously, okay? I think we did uh, really well with our attack and then we were able to hold them on defense without them capturing all three points, which meant that we won the series. So going into map four, you know, we wanted to, <laughs> to make sure that we win that one because we need the map differential. Every map counts at this point, and so we wanted to make sure that this last one was good, and it was. They were molded by this kind of chaos. This is where they thrive, and Sansa will have to go for a one-player stand on the payload. And yeah, it never works, not even in the movies. The Dallas Fuel comfortably take away this series three maps to zero with one draw in the mix, but they won't be too upset about that one. Felt pretty good about the series and the week overall, um, even though the Gladiators match didn't go how we hoped. Um, there's a lot that we can learn from and grow from. And I think that's an important thing for us is that every time we lose, we learn something. We try to make sure we get stuff out of it. A good job today on the match. Um, overall, I think we did pretty well, um, but I do think there's some stuff that we can improve on. So um, we're gonna, so we're gonna take, um, so we're gonna take this data. We'll talk about it. We've got an interesting week next week with Chengdu uh, coming up. So we'll talk through that and go through all that. But uh, for tonight, enjoy the win. The next two weeks for us are gonna be uh, pretty interesting um, in terms of our schedule. So we actually have, I think it's something like the third hardest schedule of, of any team in the league for this stage. Everyone's kind of just focused. We want to uh, make sure that we have a, a positive stage, which means that, um, you know, we need to make sure we take every match extremely seriously, which means we have to grow internally, um, you know? So in doing that, we're pretty focused just to, to try to make sure we're at that point. Arrival has arrived. I run this town. No. What's up, sir? Yes. I'm Miss, sick. You don't Miss, want me around. Mr. Arrow, sir. I'm immune to sickness. Really? No, it's not. Don't touch me. <laughs>